Hey, hey, y'all, and good morning. It is Sunday morning, and I am headed to the store real quick. I want to do the French onion chicken for supper tonight. I want to put it in the crock pot, and I had some chicken in the freezer, but the way it's frozen, it's like in a big portion in a Ziploc bag, and I just don't, I forgot to thaw it. So I don't know that I'll be, don't know that I would be able to get it out and get it in the crock pot. So I'm gonna go pick up some chicken real quick. Um, today is Sunday, and we have not vlogged on a Sunday in a while. So we're gonna take you through the day with us. I've gotten myself somewhat ready, somewhat. I'm going to probably curl my hair before we head to church. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in Justin's car, and we drove this to the beach. My mom and stepdad went. Y'all know that if you watched our vlogs. But um, some of the kids rode with them. And then some rode in here. It was just better gas mileage. <laughs> uh, anyway. There's sand everywhere. And it smells like the beach. And it makes me want to go back. But I do need to help Justin get it cleaned up. At some point. I don't know if we'll do that today or not. But just seeing the sand. Smells like the beach. Makes me want to go back but I'm going to the grocery store instead. Y'all, can we talk about the price of chicken at the grocery store? I know I went to a small like family-owned grocery store and the prices there are a little bit more expensive than say Walmart but I used to go buy a small whole chicken there for five or six dollars now it's 11 uh, a four pack of chicken breasts twenty dollars twenty dollars thank goodness our chickens are gonna be ready to process here soon because I don't know that I could afford to buy chicken at the grocery store I want to thank Dossier for working with me on today's video. I have been very excited to try out these fragrances and I'm going to share with you the three that I selected, but definitely take a look at their website because they have something for everyone. The first is Floral Marshmallow and I typically do not go for floral scents, but I'd heard so many people rave about this particular fragrance that I wanted to give it a try and it may very well be my favorite of the three that I selected, which really surprised me. The next is Citrus Neroli, and I believe this one is actually a unisex fragrance. I could definitely see Justin wearing this particular one as well. It reminds me of something that's a little bit warmer. I see myself wearing this a lot in the fall. I'm also going to show you a picture of that little card that came with it in a second, a little bit closer up, and show you what all is included on that particular card that comes with the fragrances. The next scent is Citrus Green Apple. This one is inspired by Dulce and Gabbana Light Blue for Women. Each fragrance is inspired by a high-end fragrance, but at a much, much more affordable price. This one right here is a little bit lighter scented, I definitely see myself wearing that one maybe after the baby gets here and I want something that's very light. I mentioned that all these fragrances are inspired by a high-end 
line, a high-end fragrance. You can get on their website and search for your favorite perfume or cologne and see their version. I also really love this magnetic closure. Something about that just feels luxury to me. I don't know. It's the little things, y'all. So I mentioned that Dossier has a fantastic price point. They are also offering a new payment method that lets you earn store credit. So select catch at the last step of checkout and you can earn a $10 sign on bonus credit and get rewarded with 10% store credit on every order. I'm going to have a discount code and a custom link listed for you down in the description box. Make sure you check that out. Here's the card that comes with each fragrance. It tells you the notes, what it was inspired by, and it also tells you about their fantastic return policy. They'll send you a full size product. And if you don't like it, you simply return it. I challenge you to grow in your faith. Find people that will hold you accountable when you may sidestep off the track. Yes. That, but that's hard for us, isn't it? That's going back to you ain't going to tell me no. You ain't going to tell me I'm wrong. It takes a special person in your life to hold you accountable, but it also takes a wise and understanding person to allow them to do it. We're back home from church. Did y'all see the video that went up yesterday for y'all where we made this peach salsa? <laughs> y'all, I am about to crack open one of these jars. They all sealed, but I'm about to open one up. We stopped at the store and I got some tortilla chips so I can snack on it while we wait on lunch to be done. That was so good. We sat here and literally ate like three quarters of that jar. Last time we made it, I think that we left the seeds and the jalapenos. The next batch, I may do that, but y'all, mm, it's good. In the nest box. Mm -hmm. Went out to feed the chickens, and look what I found. Three eggs today, and this one, this came from one of Huddy's chickens, the Cuckoo Marines. I actually opened the nest box and heard that one hit the heard this one hit the ground and I kind of scooted her over and I saw one of these and I was like she should lay darker eggs and then I saw that one so that is the first egg that those wow. have laid and then apparently another one has started laying because we've been getting one egg every day every probably about every other day that's this color but today there were two and then like I said one of the cuckoo marans I think those are from the cinnamon queens but I'm not a hundred percent sure and then I know this is from the Cuckoo Moran. So, yep, it's small. This is the first egg that it ever laid. And you can even see just within like a week. So, these started out that size. And just within a week, they've already gotten a little bit bigger. But three eggs today, Huddy Bud. Mm -hmm. I'm glad mine laid an egg. Yeah, I'm glad yours laid an egg too. Is that where you goes to the ice maker? Or is, which one? Yeah. That one goes to the ice maker and that's where you... Water yeah. source goes in. Yeah. Right. It is 8.30 and we've not had supper yet, but that's okay. We ended up having a busier afternoon than I thought we were going to, which is fine. And the kids actually ended up going to um, Justin's aunt's church to watch like a puppet show and they were having finger foods and stuff there. So I'm going to shred up this chicken. I have had it on warm for a while now because it's done um of course it's been in there for like almost 12 hours so um and i was gonna do some egg noodles to go with it but i think i'm just gonna make some instant mashed potatoes and call it good <laughs> we love you we appreciate you we'll see you in the next one bye y'all mm -hmm.